Yeah, hi, my name is Steve Barbie, and I'm the guest artist this month at the uh, Berkeley Library. Honored to be so. And I'd just like to talk a little bit about uh, my painting, my philosophy behind it, and why you're going to see what you're going to see. And see is the main word. As we all know, uh, when you're a painter, you paint what you see and what you feel. And there's a lot, people have different ways of saying that. Uh, Picasso said, uh, I see what I think rather than what I see. And uh, Degas said, art isn't what you see, it's what you make other people see. And in fact, it's kind of a paradigm because you really have to see what you feel in order so that people understand what you paint. And so this is an example of, of my work. And, I, uh, and basically, it's based on people uh, and, the, the, and basically the hope of, of people and, and their futures and the struggles that they've been through and how they overcome those. And I start out with a really positive picture here. This is a picture of a, what I call the Michigander. And uh, this gentleman has uh, been a lifelong uh, resident of Michigan. He's traveled all over Michigan. He's worked in, in factories and he's been an artist and he's uh, a writer. And uh, this is him at one of the glorious places in, where he relaxes in, uh, in Mackinac. Uh, which uh, he loves, and uh, along with myself, as a matter of fact, I think it's a mar marvelous place. And doing portraits is really <clears throat> doing portraits is really a uh, pleasure to do because you can see the feeling of how people really are. Uh, this next painting I call the pandemic, and this is a uh, reflects on how we all felt, and we can re look at this f uh, painting and realize what we went through. And we went through a lot of emotions, and this was one of them. But in fact, at the end of the day, we came together and uh, we got through that. And this reminds us of, of that, that period in our life. And we never want to forget the kinds of struggles that we've been through. Uh, this is the weeping prophet. Uh, this is Jeremiah. And this is my rendition of Michelangelo's uh, uh, prophet that's in the uh, Vatican. Uh, the Sistine Chapel, and I decided that I would do my version of it because uh, basically what uh, Jeremiah really stood for was hope against adversity, and uh, I love his hands, and so the, the focus for me was, was concentrating on his hands and, and, and how they gave him power to overcome a lot of adversity. Uh, this is my painting of... Uh, and I'm going to get the meat. I'm going to get the meat. Okay, what do I call that now? Okay, where is that? Uh, the name of this painting is The Obliterating Mist. And uh, this is a, the uh, Kaiser Wilhelm uh, Cathedral in Berlin today, which is a memorial, of, it's a peace memorial. Uh, to the second after the Second World War, and it was bombed out. And today it's a memorial, and they cleaned it up. The symbolism here is the hope that we have after we have these conflicts. And as you see, as you examine this uh, this uh, painting, you'll see that this is through the, all the carnage. Uh, this is a uh, this is a, a concentration camp victim uh, who survived who, who survived that. And it also is a representative of how the German people came together and, and, and rebuilt uh, their lives. During our lives, we have a lot of different kinds of memories that stay with us. And for me, uh, some of the memories I have from my youth are reflected in my paintings. Uh, and these are, are, are three of those paintings that, that indeed reflect that. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the area in Ann Arbor, this is the Beer Depot, which in all the construction and the new buildings that are around, the Beer Depot is still there. And uh, when I was a, a young man, actually when I was a little boy, my grandparents lived in Ann Arbor. And uh, every week uh, when uh, my, my grandfather would be driving around 
and he'd want to go to the beer depot, which you could drive through, and you could pick up your beer, and they'd just put it right in your car here. And it's really kind of an iconic place in Ann Arbor. And so this picture actually, painting is called Alone. And this is this gentleman sitting on the curb by himself, uh, contemplating whatever it is that uh, he wants to think about. And uh, I just kind of love this painting because it really reminds me of, every time I go to Ann Arbor, I get to see the beer, beer, beer depot. They still haven't torn it down. This is the blue front, and the blue front is still there on, on State and uh, Packard uh, in Ann Arbor. And today it's basically a beer and wine store and a liquor store. Uh, when I was a child, it was also a bookstore. And this is where my father took me and introduced me to the love of books. And the rule was, is when we went to the uh, blue front that I could have any book that I wanted. And today I actually have some of those books and I look back at them and they're soft cover books and they were like 50, they were like 25 cents. And so my father was very generous. He wanted me to have a love of books and this is where he introduced me to that. And this, of course, is uh, called One Summer Night. And like a lot of youth, in my youth, we hung around at a lot of different places. This is a place in Detroit, up at Plymouth and uh, Rutherford. And this was a theater that we went to. And this was the place that we called the Dell. And it was our version of what people call a coffee shop today. And we spent hours and hours and hours uh, during the summer hanging out on the street corner and waiting for our friends and we would go to the show and we would have coffee. And I started drinking coffee when I was about 13 years old because a Coca-Cola, a Coke, was 20 cents and a cup of coffee was 15. This painting is called The Eternal Dream of Peace. It's a journey. And folks ask what it's like to have uh, PTSD. And uh, I, as a Vietnam veteran, uh, I've gone through that. I, a lot of my uh, combat comrades in arms have done the same. And basically what you see here is uh, as you go on in your life, you're continually walking towards peace and uh, struggling past the, uh, the challenges that you've had. And the, this little guy here in the, represents us all as we go through our journey in life. After all the carnage that we might have seen and destruction, we're still hopeful that we find that. And this is the journey that we take.